Well, good morning, everyone. We're really excited this morning to welcome Representative Jenna Jacobson and Senator Mark Spreitzer uh, to Edgerton Hospital and Health Services. Um, it's really, really exciting. Um, a lot of things going on in healthcare in general right now um, throughout the entire United States. Lots of things going on in Wisconsin and um, certainly lots of things going on locally um, in our hospital. And I guess the, the number one issue that I really wanted to thank both of you, the legislature, the governor's office, um, was last year we, as you know, received the $3.8 million governor's health care infrastructure grant, which has helped us build a brand new clinic um, downtown. And uh, we're actually hosting an open house this evening from five to seven at Fulton Square, right downtown on Fulton Street um, in Edgerton. But the ability for us to move some practices out of the hospital um, that are going to allow us to expand is amazing. So we're moving our pulmonology, our cardiology, general surgery, um, ears, nose, throat, um, all of them are going downtown. It's going to allow for us to um, expand our pain center, which we now have. So we're treating chronic pain. So we also have a nurse practitioner um, practice in Milton, and we're getting ready to expand a little bit further than that even. So again, the, the grant has just been absolutely amazing to jumpstart some additional services. So the other big service that I haven't mentioned that we're opening up downtown is mental health. So as you both know, that is a huge priority all the way down from the president and the federal government to Governor Evers. And I know that in his budget proposal, there's a significant amount of money that he's uh, placed in there um, to help with the mental health of our residents. And my gosh, I can't say enough about how super important that is for us. We've hired uh, to this point, two uh, psychiatric nurse practitioners that are going to be practicing and a mental health provider who will do counseling as well. But I think that this is just, again, another jump start to get us into something larger to help with the mental health of the communities we serve. Um, there are all too many times that we have all sorts of um, folks that come in to our emergency department with mental health needs, mental health emergencies, and they're literally stuck in our emergency department because there's not adequate mental health out there, especially on the emergency side. Um, addiction is, is just another place where, you know, it, it's really hard in the mental health arena. Um, if somebody needs a mental health inpatient bed, um, sometimes it can take days that they're actually having to stay in our emergency department, um, really not getting the adequate care that they need for the emergency that they are suffering from. So um, we certainly appreciate everything that's going on that way. We also know that there are some real concerns from hospitals and healthcare that um, the patients who have Medicaid um, with the end of the public emergency um, may be without health care. And um, I'm, I'm hoping maybe the two of you can say a few words about 
happening there. But I know the governor also has a plan. He's really interested in Medicaid expansion. And we'll see, you know, what all happens with that. But really and truly, um, uh, along with that expansion, you know, flows, there's lots of mental health needs there as well. Um, and we certainly don't want folks having to be without some kind of health care coverage. It's so important, um, you know, uh, to the viability of the areas in which we live. So anyways, I would love to uh, uh, invite both of you to come up and say a few words. Um, so excited to have you here at Edgerton Hospital. So. Okay. Well, thank you for uh, having us. I'm excited to be here. Uh, Edgerton has been uh, uh, such an example of how rural health care can be done well and done in a way that uh, really cares for the community and really reflects the heart of the community, I think. And it's so great to hear about all the expansions that you all are going through, expanding your services and being able to just offer more of, um, of what Edgerton needs. So thank you for that. Thank you all for all the work that you do. And um, as Mark said, we are continuing to uh, fight in the budget for more support for our, our rural community hospitals so we can get more um, workforce development. I know that like many hospitals, y'all are facing hiring challenges, um, expanding services, mental health care, um, and really fighting for those issues that are going to help you all do the great work that you do. So thank you for having us and showing us around. Really appreciate it. Good morning. Uh, I'm State Senator Mark Spreitzer. Uh, again, thank you for inviting us to, to be here. Uh, I've really, over the past uh, year or so, as I've been campaigning to represent this area and now representing this area, uh, gotten to know Mark as a truly dynamic leader that's driving Edgerton Hospital and this whole community forward. And it is uh, so wonderful to have a comprehensive hospital like this in a community of this size where if Edgerton Hospital was not here, folks would have to go to Janesville or up to Madison for care. And that's great if you need specialty care that's only available there, but for uh, having primary care and uh, many specialties as well, including um, things like mental health care available here in the community where folks don't have to leave their hometown for it. That's just so incredibly important. Uh, and we certainly wanna do everything we can at the state level to protect that. Uh, with the uh, Medicaid situation, with the winding down of the federal health emergency, communication is going to be key there because uh, whether folks are still eligible uh, or perhaps aren't to need to figure out another health insurance option, uh, they're going to be getting paperwork in the mail. They're going to need to respond to that, uh, not ignore it, uh, and they may need help figuring out what it means. So uh, you all play a key role on the front lines of talking to patients and making sure that if they're eligible to keep that coverage, that they do what they need to do to keep it, uh, or that they go find whatever that other best option might be uh, if they're not eligible. And, and we would certainly both like to expand eligibility so that people people don't fall through the cracks. But either way, it's going to be about communication and making sure people know their options. Uh, on mental health care, that's really a bipartisan priority. At the state level, uh, we certainly uh, are seeing more effects on kids coming out of the pandemic, uh, but adults as well. Uh, and we need those resources. Uh, and we need to, to continue to work to end the stigma of seeking help, uh, and then make sure that when people are ready to seek help, they can actually find that help in their communities without a big wait list, without having to go somewhere else uh, uh, you know, and and use telehealth and other options where appropriate. But if somebody can come meet face to face with a provider right here in their community, how much better is that? So uh, we will continue to to fight for healthcare access at the Capitol and to partner where we can to to direct resources uh, here to this community. Uh, and with that, uh, Representative Jacobson and I are pleased to uh, have brought some flags that were flown over the uh, Wisconsin State Capitol, the United States flag a state of Wisconsin flag that we wanted to present to Edgerton Hospital that can uh, stay here uh, in perpetuity. Uh, so uh, we can come over here and grab the flags and present them to you. Uh, we have a United States flag that was flown over the state capitol. Uh, thank you. And a state of Wisconsin flag. Uh, and then we also have some uh, certificates that uh, show that these were 
uh, flown over the Capitol and presented on this date uh, here to Edron Hospital. So uh, this is for the uh, state of Wisconsin flag, and uh, this is for the United States flag. Wonderful. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Um, uh, I know our plans already is uh, we're going to put the U.S. flag and a very nice flag holder and um, place it here on one of our walls permanently with the plaques. And um, we're actually getting some stands where we'll actually have uh, permanent U.S. and Wisconsin flags um, always hanging um, within the hospital at all times too. So very, very much appreciated. So thank you. So, all right. Well, at, at this point, I guess I'd ask the crowd that has come if they have any kind of, uh, well, I guess maybe healthcare or any other related questions for you, for the two of you, if you have a few minutes to answer questions. And maybe there aren't any questions. Any? No, I think we're we're good. I I probably uh, got all their questions answered with uh, the information they told you. Maybe but, uh, so. Well, wonderful. Um, at this time, uh, I'd love to give uh, you folks a tour of the hospital and show you what's happening. There also couldn't be a better day too, because right behind you um, is you'll see it starting to bloom as our three acre healing garden that includes the pond feature um, in the moment, but we can uh, even enjoy a little walk out there since it's so nice and warm this morning and get you around the hospital too, if that sounds good. Wonderful. All right, thank you. Thank you everyone thank for you. coming. Take a couple pictures. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Thanks, Dan.